Okay, so I was trying to um, create a um, shortcut with a parameter passed in. Um, if you don't know what this means, it's like, okay, so I'm trying to get this program to run, to project my screen app for to project my Windows phone screen to my computer. Uh, normally I just do that, but I want to customize that. I want to put a background and all that nifty shit which is more of a pain in the ass than it needs to be. But anyways, uh, in order to do this, I need to utilize the XML file that was included with the program by default. The XML file is not used by default, so I need to tell the program to use it. Now, in order to tell the program to use it, what I need to do is I need to go into Run, and then designate the program, which is right here, and then designate the XML file so that when I run it, it runs both in tandem. Oh, I'm already running it. Okay, exit that. Okay, so run. And now try again. Gives me an error because I'm still trying to figure this out, but it does actually work. See how it's using the XML file? Now what I want to do is I want to create a link that I can just click on and have it pop right up without me having to go into the run command. Now to do this is actually a lot easier than I thought. I just needed somebody to answer a quick question. You want to send to desktop. That will create the shortcut. And then, no. And then you go into properties. Now right here is the target, the target app. Now what I was trying to do based on what was it was telling me was I was trying to just enter in config dot XML but it won't let me do that the reason it won't let me do that is because I'm putting config dot XML behind the quote you want to put it after the quote apply and it takes it now when I run that shortcut it runs it with the XML so if you're having any troubles um, getting a passed in parameter shortcut to work, that is why you couldn't do it. Um, good luck with whatever you're trying to do. Uh, have a nice day. Thanks for watching.